Welcome to Data Visualization for All. Let's demonstrate some features of Leaflet Maps with Google Sheets, a new open source template that's great for putting together sample uh, points on a map, which you can turn on and off. Also polylines on a map, uh, routes or paths, and also polygons on a map. And you can have polygons with different values that show up as different colors on the map based on the legend you set for each value. You can change it for each way that you display it or turn them off entirely. Also, there's a drop down. You can insert an entirely different polygon layer. This one here is parks. And of course, these are all clickable and with separate controls as well. Let's show how the data table is connected to points on the map. Well, let's see when you zoom in also on the points, there's a table down below. And so every time you're zooming in, it's displaying only the points that are visible in the map, uh, sort of automatically updating each time. Now you can see just Trinity College. You have different headers you can choose to put there. And so if I zoom back out, I can rearrange these and say sort by uh, location or sort by description or go back and sort by name and even change the order of these, um, flipping the alphabet from bottom to top and then top to bottom. How does it work? Let's go and find out behind the scenes. It's linked to a Google Sheet. So here is a uh, view of what the Google Sheet looks like. All of your data settings here are on this options page. So map title, display names, um, base map tiles. You can pick and choose different base maps to use. All these types of controls, they're right here in the Google Sheet. So if you change them here, they'll also change almost instantly on the actual map. The Google Sheet consists of different tabs. There's a points tab, and that's where you can insert your point data, declare the groups, set settings for different markers, the name of each one. You can put in images, uh, descriptions. And then over here, this is the location data. And see the next video about how to run the geocoder inside of this. The polygons tab, you can input the labels and the path name for the polygon file you'll be uploading and also the polygon data, the properties you'd like to display, uh, ranges for uh, color map cutoffs and pop-ups, and the color settings, those you can pull from a uh, color brewer or set those manually. You can have more than one polygon layer. And then polylines, um, those roots or trails, you can insert uh, those and also label them here. Let's go back over to the map and you can also see all of the code is open source. So if we go and open up the link to the code, here is the template. This is the GitHub repository where anybody can get a free account and download or fork a copy, which we'll show you in the next video. The geometry folder, that's where you can upload your GeoJSON polygons or polylines. They go into there. If you want to make custom markers like that special uh, Trinity mascot marker I made on the map, you can put them in here in the markers folder. And all the rest of the code is sitting right there, plus links to create your own. We'll show you how to do that in the next video.